Well, hello and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Hewson, and this week's bulletin is brought to you by Jet Technologies, supplier of food packaging and printing solutions. Now, the big story this week for the Australian packaging industry is that Brooke Donnelly, CEO of the Australian Packaging Covenant Organisation, that's APCO, is stepping down at the end of July. Donnelly said that after five years in the role, it was time for a new challenge, but that she will stay on to assist with the transition to a new CEO. Speaking to PKN shortly after the news broke, Donnelly said that this was a considered and strategic decision based on what she feels is right for APCO and for her personal growth. She said she has had a fabulous time working in the role since 2017 and feels privileged and humbled to have been in a position to rebuild APCO into an institution well positioned to deliver a circular economy for packaging and to have been instrumental in projects and programs that have made a real and tangible impact. This is what she said. There is a lot more work to be done, but we have turned the ship. We have shifted the paradigm on how Australians view sustainable packaging. She said, I am confident Australia is firmly on the pathway to achieving the national packaging targets and beyond that to achieving a circular economy for packaging. We've got this no matter who sits in the CEO seat, industry and government can deliver on our sustainable packaging targets. Wise words from a good leader. She will be missed. Moving on to smart packaging and proof of how it is gaining traction. The second iteration of Hungry Jack's UNO campaign rolled out in Australia this week in a project delivered once again by Result Group, supported by its partners Everything, Multicolor Corporation, Dead Pack and TLC Marketing. The smart element of Hungry Jack's UNO 2 has taken a big step up from last year with labels digitally linked to the Hungry Jack's app. Gamification has expanded with seamless links to the Hungry Jack's online world directly from the label, with more ways to win also introduced. QR codes feature strongly, all instant win prizes are now QR code based for redemption, and the second chance draw entry is QR code based for easier participation. This year, the seamless increase of gamification and redemption was delivered by result using the Everything Product Cloud. And Michael Dosser, the general manager of Result Group, said that seeing Hungry Jack's Uno 2 on-pack promotion, which is arguably the biggest active and intelligent packaging project undertaken in Australia, go live for a second time, bigger and better than the first time around, is something the team is very excited about. Well done to Michael and the team at Result. Now, Result will have samples of the labels and machinery used, which are the Herma labelers, on display at Auspac on the 17th to the 20th of May in Melbourne on Stand B. 205. Moving from fast food to packaged food, sustainable food packaging manufacturer Caspac has partnered with Hagen's Organics Butcher in an Australian first to supply its online customers with meat packaged in its new FSC certified bamboo modified atmosphere packaging tray. Consumers can place the fiber map trays in their curbside paper recycling bin after removing the lining film, which, says CASPAC, will increase the raw material recovery rate to 70%. The new CASPAC map tray is layered with a thin plastic film that can be peeled away from the fiber tray and recycled through the Red Cycle soft plastic system. Once the tray is recycled, the laminate on the tray is removed during the normal pulping process, much like um, it is done with Tetra Pak containers, and is disposed of in landfill. According to Caspac, Hagen's switch to the fiber map trays has resulted in an 80% total reduction in plastic, from 20 grams to just 4 grams per meat tray. Now more on the subject of local food packaging innovations, Australian packaging machinery manufacturer Foodmac has splashed out more than half a million dollars on a fiber LME laser cutting system for its factory in Echuca, Victoria. Now laser cutters are not generally part of a packaging machinery manufacturer's toolkit. However, um, this investment purchased from Italian company Cutlight Penta is an important decision by the business, according to Foodmac CEO Earl Roberts, because it means that the business can be more agile and less dependent on outsourced providers. 
And then moving across the Tasman, we ran a few stories on two New Zealand based companies and how they are bringing to the table innovation in fresh produce packaging. Fresh produce software provider Radford Software has onboarded leading Australian asparagus producer and distributor Rafa Fields to implement a pack house system entirely remotely. While flexible packaging and lidding film supplier KM Packaging has provided its K Reseal monolaminate PET lidding film for Kiwi grower Best Berries Strawberry Punnets. To find out more about these innovations, head to our website where you will also see the names of the finalists, by the way, in this year's APMA Awards of Excellence. The winners will be announced at OSPAC at a gala dinner on the 18th of May. Head to ospac.com.au to find out more about the event and book tickets. Until next time, that's the wrap from the PKN team and from me, Lindy Hewson. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks in Melbourne at the OSPAC trade show.